Shadow is the daft of the Football Daft podcast. Is that a good story? Is that a good story? I've got an encyclopedia. Brain. He's got a damn man nothing. <laughs> Fuck sake. Why are you a fucking hoo? <laughs> this is Football Daft. Sponsored by Glasgow Private Hire. Make booking easier. Download our booking app now on App Store and Google Play. You're a Rangers man. Uh, I'm a Hearts man. <laughs> With you and Cameron. I work for Showtime and ESPN. <laughs> and. Hey, the top end of Stevenson. Grenada! It's the Football Dad Podcast with you and Grado, episode 10. Hello, Grado. This guy's me sniffing my balls here. I did catch you sniffing your balls. I wasn't going to say that you were sniffing your balls. I wasn't it's... sniffing my balls. It's not my balls, it's the. It's the section between your balls and your legs. Grindle. What's he call it? The grindle. How the, what the hell is a grindle? Is that a wee fryer steak on it? <laughs> your grindle. So you do I know? Are you a grindler? <laughs> How the hell do you know what a... That I, sec- didn't, I didn't even know that section had a name. I know. So that bit between what? your legs... How do you know that, mate, Producer but- John? He's getting all nervous and all that. I just know. Right? I just right. know. It's getting, a grindle. He's getting his phone out to, to double check right. it. Right. So that bit between I, your balls and your inner thigh is your grindle. Is your grindle. Uh, yes. And I always lather it in coconut oil because I read on Google, and this might not become a big surprise to you, but the, the smellest part of your human anatomy <laughs> is your balls. <laughs> Did you know that? Is it? Well, I, 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 well, I mean, I mean, I keep myself nice and well, clean. That's what I'm saying, mate. See, and trim. I mean, I have no pubic I, hair. Oh what? come on! What age are you, mate? But do you know why, mate? What age are you? You try to say you you shave your pubes and all that. I don't have, mate. Pubic you've got wings. What does that have to do with anything? You've got wings and you shave your pubes and all that. Producer John, you put what, what is it? Sorry, it's called the Grundle. The Grundle! <laughs> the Grundle! Not the Grundle, the Grundle. <laughs> the Grundle! So that bit between your balls and your thigh is the Grundle uh, and not the Grundle. Uh, and the reason we're talking about this is because I caught you having a wee smell. A wee fiddle with my Grundle. Yes. <laughs> um, I, 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 I have a thing about pubic hair, and I, I've never, I've not had pubic hair for as long as I can remember. And the reason You're being... You're too old to be shaving your pubes. It's not about... Grado, the, thi- the thing is about it, right? It would be when, your when, woman, when, when, I was, when I was a teenager, <laughs> when I was a teenager, Aye. Right, you'd always find pubic hair in your boxers or in the sheets or on the, the bed, so it just fall out. And it just, I just found it dirty, and I thought it was quite I didn't like it, I felt dirty, so I keep myself nice, neat, and trim. Do you? Uh, well, I usually <laughs> what's funny, well, I usually either V, mm-hmm. uh, V, and again, or V, you V yourself. What you? I do is, do you know what I do? Mm-hmm. I'll f- put the V on. Cause for my wrestling and all that, I know that I know that the wrestlers are going to see my boys, <laughs> but what I'll usually do is smother everything with V, lay it for five minutes, and then I'll take my bank card, scrape it off, skip it off of my bank card. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. I. Right. You do. I. I do. I bank card my gundo. <laughs> Grundle. Grundo. <laughs> I just saw on nice and smooth. Wow, just when you think you've heard it all, then Grado comes out with that absolute beauty, getting the bank car to scrape his balls yeah. after using Veet. Wow. Should we move on to the rant? Uh, aye, okay. Before this gets a wee bit too I know, there. man. Right, let's move on to the let's rant. Grado's Rant. It's the Football Daft Podcast with Ewan and Grado, sponsored by Glasgow Private Hire. And uh, this week, Grado, you are going to be ranting. I've got no idea what the rant's about this week. What, what's, what's, what's on your mind? There's a power cut my street pain, nurse. <laughs> I mean, I've, all week I've been, I know I talk a little bit food, but I've been eating it. I've been going to a chip shop. I've been going to, uh, sorry, I've been going to McDonald's or the rest of it. Yada, yada, yada. End of the story is... I decided to make cottage pie. I like going on YouTube and seeing how you make things and then trying to attempt to copy it. What's he laughing at? I'll tell you why I'll tell you why John's laughing and why I'm giggling away here. You need to go on YouTube to see how to make a cottage pie. It's tatties and mints. 
I know, but I like to see there's there's obviously folk have different versions. Uh -huh. Do you know what I mean? So what version did you find on YouTube that you tried to make? It was, uh, I, I'm sure it was some old Italian couldn't have done it. Because um, <laughs> he puts a wee bit of tomato puree in it. You oh, interesting. Oh, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. See, did it. Um, and so obviously, it, 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 cook the mints, mash the tatties, and then you obviously you're meant to put it in a tray, put the mash tatty out it. Fling it on the, the oven or the grill. Aye. Power cut! <laughs> halfway through, man! Well, halfway like, through the cooking process. Well, through the cooking process, yes. <laughs> and thankfully, I'm on a... So we, I'm on a Facebook group on my street. Or on one Facebook page, what? so there. <laughs> right, Aye. okay. And so, obviously, I went on to straight, straight on to Facebook, and it was ZMDLC's Powers Out. And ten replies, me, mine, so yes, <laughs> mine, uh -huh, mine. <laughs> Who's phoning? You phone. Right, okay. <laughs> what did they say? When will it be? And all that. Turns out, mate, uh -huh. uh, I was for, for last night, for like four o'clock, till uh, this morning. So nearly 12 hours plus. Aye, mate. So, so what did you? What happened with the cottage pie? I had to fucking take it down to my birds, didn't I? <laughs> well, I had you to wrap, wrap it up. up. <laughs> I wrapped it up, wrapped it up and taken it down. Um, so, I mean, I don't know what I'm writing it. I don't know whose fault it is. <laughs> Uh, if it was the electricity board or the street, the street or something, somebody, Some, bit, somebody short circuited somewhere. Aye, put, put the whole street out. But I mean, then I was. I wanted to date. I wanted to impress my girlfriend. Making that Scottish pie, put it in the oven, and the electricity went off. <laughs> and I'm going to say this: my mate Ian Halbert said they switched off last week during this show because we started talking about Love Island. But I don't give a fuck. <laughs> That Love Island was my life for eight weeks. <laughs> that Love Island was my life. I don't know what I'm going to do now. It's over. It's over. It's I done. don't know what I'm going to do now. Greg and Amber, won it? I know, mate. And, and spoiler alert, by the way. Oh, that's what I'm going to rant about. I know. So obviously, because of the kid on with the, with, the, with the cottage pie, right? Um, Because of the kid on with the cottage pie, I missed some of Love Island because I, I was on record, right? I was on record. <laughs> so I went down to my bud's house. And then I'm watching the live, the live final and my sister texts at me and she says, oh, come on, did Greg and Amber to win the naughty, did you? <laughs> I went, I'm not fucking seen it yet. <laughs> <laughs> fucking nine, eight, nine weeks. I've been following this religiously, mate. I watched doing the hours, the cloak to win this fucking Love Island stairs and she spoiled it. So there you are, eight weeks in the making for the big moment, the big finale, the big result of Love Island. First things first, the cottage pie doesn't cook because the electricity goes off. Secondly, you have to wrap up the cottage pie, rush down to your bird's house while she's got the Love Island on record. You're watching it on record and then your Aye. sister texts you to tell you the result of Love Island. You can't get a worse night than that. No, I can't. And then once I came down, I realised, fuck, I've left, the, I've left the oven on. So <laughs> what if the electricity goes back on? So then I had to drive all the way back up to my, to my bird's house to turn off the oven in case it turns back on in the middle of the night. <laughs> Nightmare! Telling you what, guys, I've had better weeks! <laughs>It's the Football Daft Podcast with Ewan and Grado, sponsored by Glasgow Private Hire. Still to come on the show, Hearts player, Hamilton player. Plays for every team under the sun. Yeah, 20 clubs plus he played for. We're delighted he's going to be in the studio. The one and only Jose Katongo will be here. Uh, can he wait? Can he wait to see the wee man while we chat with him shortly? And do, we'll do you look up to him as a... Love you know, him. That's what I'm saying, because he's like a cult. Cult he's, hero at Hearts. Yeah, he was... What a player he was, aye, by the way. Skillful, aye. quick, cheeky, aye. lovely guy, funny guy, great personality. Have you met him before? I played football with him. When the lovely guy, he's isn't he? Good. He's one of the most down-to-earth, always smiling. Yes, totally. And I've wanted him to, to get on this show since, since the very start. We've got him the day. So we've got him the day. He's coming in soon. Jose yeah. Katongo, over to you, Ewan. Thank you, Grado. Uh, this show is sponsored by Glasgow Private Hire. Uh, the number you need to call if you ever need a taxi in Glasgow or the West is what? 0141 774 3,000. I repeat, that is 0141 774 3,000. Guys, if you're looking for a taxi... What are you doing putting my volume down my talking too high? <laughs> Keep going. In your, in your uh, radio uh, voice. Guys, if you're looking for a taxi in or around Glasgow, do us a favour. Phone Glasgow Private Hire. Now, if your phone has capability to download apps, <laughs> get yourself on Google Play 
or indeed the App Store if you're using an iOS device. It's on there, it's quite easy to find. It's called the Glasgow Private Hire app. Uh, on there, you can find taxis to take you here, there, anywhere. <laughs> we will follow on. <laughs> It's the Football Daft Podcast with Ewan and Grado, episode 10. It's now time for Who Are You, where we bring in a mystery guest who Grado needs to identify. And what I can say about this mystery guest is that he has uh, been in one of my favourite movies of all time. He's been in a whole host of TV shows in Scotland. And um, I've seen his cock, I've seen his balls, I've seen his ass. And um, and he likes to use the swear word every now and again as well. He's also very famous for stage shows. Um, it's uh, it's the one and only Simon Weir, one of Scotland's best known actors. Hello there, Simon. Hello there, and best and also most available actors today as well. I'm somebody's <laughs> fucking cancelled, haven't they? To get me in. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello everyone, how you doing? Yeah, you've been around for a wee while, Simon. Yeah, you, man. You've done a whole yeah. host of things over the years. I think part of it is just stay alive. You know what I mean? Part of it with an acting career is stay alive because it will come back again. So you, you get through periods where you're dead busy and then you get quiet periods as well and that's when you have to do a lot of stage work. But uh, no, it's been good. The, 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 the credits start to rack up again. Plus the fact you get old. I mean, you get old. I, mean, I always played, I had a whole career of playing young Neds and now I play old Neds. <laughs> Old gangsters as well. Anything with leather jackets and motorbikes, I'm your man. But I'm getting into that kind of budgie territory now. Uh -huh. So the voice is obviously all those years of abuse, the voice is suddenly matching the fucking face. <laughs> so, so yeah, so I intend to, to work until I die. Do you still get a buzz from acting, Simon? Totally, totally. I mean, it's, it's the one thing. You try other things. I've had businesses, I've run shops, I've, I've, you know, I was obsessed with football and... But it's just one of the things that you just keep coming back to because you love it. And there's no better job in the world when you're working. When you're not working, it's tough. That's, that's, that's when you decide whether this is a career for you. And lots of people fall by the wayside then. But I've kept going. And that's, that's I mean, I started when I was a child. So that's over 30 years I've been doing it. Wow. Yeah, man. And you've years. done all the big TV shows that Scotland's ever yeah, produced. Absolutely. You've done them all. Done them all. And then you don't work after it. <laughs> <laughs> Once you've done Monica the Glen, silence for a year. So but, that that was kind of, but that was such a huge hit, it Monica was the Glen. It was that nine o'clock Sunday slot as well, so that really hasn't been filled. And what, what I always find with, with Scottish television, particularly, the one trick we're missing, you've got it with Outlander, but the one trick you're missing is at the time we had High Road, and then you had, you know, you had um, Monarch of the Glen, you had series that showed Scottish countryside. Mm -hmm. That's what sells abroad, that's what people want to see. The unfortunate thing is when you get a soap or a series that's set in a city, it, it minimalises that as well. So I think it's it, things that, are, that show the Scottish countryside and sort of Scottish, Scottish country life as well, which is quite representative of a lot of the, a lot of the country. Mm -hmm. There's not something for them that High Road was, you know, and it had run for 25 years. So much so that we were naming a train one week. We named the singer Train one week and then went on a holiday. And I remember getting up with the double banked the episodes for some reason. So we, we'd, we'd done like three years worth of episodes. Well, this is great. It's going to twice a week. Lies. So it was, this, it was a Sunday experience. There's a photograph of me sitting outside a hotel in the sun, beautiful sun, in a wee Scotland top, waiting for my holidays. And that was the phone call from the Sunday Express to say, Do you know, your show's been cancelled. Just like that. That was it. So no nobody, warning. Nobody from STV told us. Nobody. <sighs> So that's brutal. Yeah, it is brutal. I've been doing it yeah. for about, I mean, it ran eight years. I've been doing it, I've been filming it for six, seven years at that point. So, yeah. So, but then you, that, that's, that's, that's the sort of real test. That's when you decide, is this for me? Yeah. And then you go, you do Monarch of the Glen, which mm. was a huge success. Massive you, you, must, show. you must have thought that we're in such a successful show here, the roles are just going to start falling at my feet. Absolutely. And Scripts then, are going to be coming through the door like, left, right and centre. Absolutely. And then you, what you realise is, exactly as you've said earlier, you've actually ticked all the shows, you've done all the shows. Yeah. You can't, and, and also, I'm a baddie, so I can't go back. And none of the You're shows, no every, one. Every you're, show, you're typecast. Yeah, every show. But that's good. Typecast is good because it means the most important part of typecast is cast. Mm -hmm. Do you know Grado? I do know Grado. I do know Does Grado. he know you? Yeah, because I played football with him and he punched me in the stomach last time, so I'm going to fucking nail him as soon as I see him. I he, punched, out, he punched you in the well, stomach? Well, I said, let's do something. He came on as a sub. So we, we play in the old firm greats game. You know, you're the football a Celtic greats. man. I'm a Celtic man. He's a Rangers man, obviously. And he is, so Derek Johnson's their manager. And all you see is a frackass at the side because he, he refuses to put him on because Rangers have got a really good team. Grado comes racing on and the first thing he does is wallop me in the stomach. Because he wanted some sort of, you know, we're going, we're going to do some sort of joke and event. Aye. So he, 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 put, he, he oh, picked on you. Doof, bang, right straight over. But I love him. So I had rugby tackled him and pulled his shorts down and everything as well. So today's but revenge. Today's revenge. So he's going to be brought in here blindfolded. Do you think yeah. he'll recognise your voice? Do I don't you, think so. I do don't you, think so. so. Would you need to put on a voice? Or I you might just put on a voice just to, just, to, just to mess with him. 
do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you mess with them. I'm going to mess with them yeah. right from the start. Right, okay. And um, whatever he asks, you answer any way you like. Yeah. Really mess with his Are brain. Are you sure? Yeah, anything. Christ, right. right. Like First thing he's going to do is smell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. then going to touch uh-huh. you. Yeah. He's going to figure out whether you're a man or a woman. And then after that, he'll just ask you any question you like. And feel free to mess with his head. This is like these uh, your, uh, sort of auditions I had when I was very young, innit? How <laughs> <laughs> much do you want to put? Oh, is that fucking normal? <laughs> <laughs> Where do I put my clothes? Over there on top of mine. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready to do this, Simon? I'm ready, see? Right, Scottish actor Simon Weir is in the studio and we go and get Grado, who's going to be blindfolded. Will he be able to identify your actor today? Somebody's getting pumped. <laughs> So, a blindfolded Grado is now sat in the studio. He is ready to play Who Are You? with our mystery guest who is now sat to his left. Grado, as we always do, you need to identify whether it's a man or a woman. And to do that, you must smell the mystery guest. So the mystery guest is now leaning forward. If you would like to have a little sniff of the mystery guest, who's now... There you go. What that? What? Did I get something just grow? Oh no, this is not good. What? I don't like this. Man or woman? It's a guy. And I was go I don't like being freaked out this. And by the way, for a start, I was gonna apologize. I don't even know whether I should bring this up now, but somebody just gave me a bit of their KFC there and I've got grease all over my hands. I never had any hankies or you know the wee baby wipes that they gave them, so I've no washed my hands or anything. I don't want and you sound a I'll lick them. You look so vulnerable. <laughs> oh, no! Uh, I kind of concentrate. I want so much. Sh- oh, don't put his he's, he's no mate. He's putting his horn on me. He's putting his horn on me. That's never happened. You can put your horn on me if you want, but I've never had that happen before. In my mind, I've got a big mad golf person with oh. like, contact lenses and like <laughs> shit that people put around their neck with spikes and all that. That's what you sound like. Oh, that doesn't do any good for mafia. So you think it's a goth? I think it's a kind of gothy kind of person. Oh, I don't. Oh my God! No, I know I said that the mind reader cunt was. I stop swearing. I know that I said the mind reader guy was built, but this guy's massive. <laughs> He's but you calm down, mate. You're tensionly. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I don't know what to do, you and me. Question me. <laughs> what is your key? Key's the question. What's your. What's your. Uh, what's, your what's your plans? <laughs> what's your plan? What, is, what kind of question is that? What's your plan? Well, it sounds like it wants to fucking eat me or something. <laughs> Domination. Oh, uh, you if you've got me another dominatrix or a person that. Tickles folks' balls and all that and does dungeons. You better stop this you and make some fed up coming in here every week when it's something to do with sex. Do you like Dungeons and Dragons? No, I don't. I don't like Dungeons and Dragons. Are your clackers shaved? Are my clackers shaved? Yeah, they're, shaved. they're half feet at half bicked. <laughs> By that means I what? used oh, I, know. I used the fuck I used the cheap short version of V and it never worked. So then I used a big razor. Aye. We've figured out that Question gra- me. <laughs> Ask me something. Uh, Ask me something new. Ask me something really uh, bad. Were you, I Grado. Did, what? Were you in? Were you in? Oh, were you in? Oh, were you in something? Aye, what? You. <laughs> <sighs> you know, I don't like this, mate. <laughs> what, what do you? <laughs> he just kissed your hand. Everywhere. Is that what that was? Aye. No, it wasn't in my mouth. <laughs> What's your passions? <laughs> Leather and lace. <laughs> Grado, oh. apart from a t-shirt, he's wearing nothing else. What? Uh-huh. Apart from a t-shirt? Uh-huh. Sweaty boy. You've got your home, is it? <laughs> no, you have no. I have. Touch. Here you go! Oh, you bastard! <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, mate! Come on, what did that do now, Ewan? Well, ask, 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 ask me something. But he's, he's playing. I'm not here for free. Do here. Hold uh, on. Can you do other accents? 
to her and all love, which is like, which I like to talk like that. And you <laughs> want me to come right close to you. Can you do, uh, hold on, can you do, uh, oh, it's, the, it's a game show now, is it? Love? What do you want me to do to you? Hold on, hold on, hold on, wait there. That's me, wait again. Oh, can you do? Oh, give me, can you do? I love a poo accent. I don't know, but that's it, because you do do that. So I don't do when they come like that. You know what I mean? It was like a sound. Come Ed. Do a camp accent. I was like, ah, right, and I said that. Can't I have a great job, big top boy? I was like, ah, I pulled his titties off one day. I was like, ah, no. I was like, ah, he says, right in there, and that dancing. I was like, what with that boy? I was like, I says, no. It was me, Stephen, was there, no, we shall sit, but I was like, no, no, he can't be in the same dress. No, when he hasn't opened the door, and there he was, and he was wanking a dug. Oh, fuck, I don't know who it is. Or a legal problem. Are you never say, probably. I was. Every cunt's been in a. That doesn't narrow it down. That does not narrow it down. <laughs> oh, I'll give you a clue, right? I'll give right. you a clue. You like to play for Rangers sometimes, but Derek doesn't let you on. <gasps> How do you know that? Because I'm in your dress. I know who you may be! In the shower. I know who you fucking are. <laughs> Simon <laughs> Weir! Fuck. Is it? Is it Simon Weir? Have a look. <laughs> <laughs> Well done, Grado. Got you got it. it. How I many got have it. you got right? I got it. That's the third. That's good. Third oh, out of ten. I liked it with that. And I mate, good. you are good at that, man. <laughs> Man in the faces. That's new. What my one of my, my, my new favourites. So as right. did, 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 were you the a wee bit worried there? The way he was speaking, the way he was acting. Were you worried it might be something dodgy? Yeah. Aye, yeah, all yeah, the yeah. time because you and I can't trust you. Because no. what I happens wouldn't, I wouldn't is ever, because honestly, I was like that, right behind you, <laughs> <laughs> just measuring you up. Well, he kens folk that can do that. I know that. I know that. But he does <laughs> that. He does a full open that, hand one. That's why I, every time I come on here, I get nervous that he's yeah. bringing on too many folk well, that are uh, they're not, they're not Grado, like, Grado, they're, here's my here's my advice to you. Don't wear shorts. <laughs> You're accessible. No, I need to because I've got a wee injury a lot. So I've got oh, it's, a, not, it's not an injury. All right, no, it's a fucking injury. Right, oh, what do you? Not to touch, not to touch. I'm not going to touch. Oh, no, I fell in the house. I fell in the house. Oh, um, boy. No, so, felt... so you know each other? Yes, 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 yes. So yes. the last time we played Neil Fernby and me, he got on eventually and we thought we would just do a wee bit of fun for the for the crowd and he fucking halved me. Aye. Aye. But, boom. Simon, was that Arm, one of the... Right but, over him. But here, but is that not because see how you're saying about Derek? Aye. I don't know if I've said this on the podcast before, right? <laughs> yeah. Do you know what happens in these old firm charity games, right? Say Rangers could be winning... 6-2, right? Mm-hmm. Rangers could be winning 6-2. Derek Johnson is the manager. There's three minutes to go mm-hmm. and the promoter will be going, Derek, you need to get Grado on for the Waynes. Yeah, yeah. The Waynes want to see Grado. Derek will go, just wait till we get to 7-2. <laughs> <laughs> That's how much he doesn't want to bring me on. Honestly, what One time like? he broke me on with, with the fucking stoppage time, three minutes. Mm-hmm. He broke me on the fucking 92nd minute. Just for me to go, hey, because I'm that shite and they take it that serious. They do take it very, very seriously. It's, fat, it's blood and guts, isn't oh, it? Oh, it's well blood oh and guts. Oh, my God. Tell you what, was, did you play one of the games at uh, the Buffs Park, Co Winning Rangers? Yeah. Were yeah, you there, yeah. right? This is the one we come on to the Celtic song, you know. So it's all done, it's all done properly. It strips all laid out and everything's all numbered. You're, you're part of the team. There's like six pros in each team. You come out, you're like, oh, Christ, you're sweating. You come out. Aye. You come out. Tommy Sheridan's warm up's the hardest part of the fucking day. You come out <laughs> and uh, everyone's taking it seriously. We got into the huddle, but we come out to silence. <laughs> Every game's oh, an away game. Especially Silence. Co- especially in co-winning. Rangers come out there's fucking fireworks going off. People, <laughs> yeah! Fucking 300 people cheering. Sh- Nothing for us. Speaking of Tommy Sheridan, uh, no. See Tommy the can bu- play still, see the bu- oh, He is a good football yeah. player. See um, the Buffs Park. I supported co-winning Rangers. I don't know if I spoke this before. I was a co-winning Rangers fan. So when Rangers played away, I went to the Buffs Park. Right. So the Buffs Park is kind of like my second Ibrox. I love the place. The last game that was played there because it got shut down right, was, yeah, was one yeah. of the games, That's right. Mm-hmm. right? And again, there was about two or three minutes to go. I got through and goal, something made a hint of something, right? And I only had to kick the ball and it, would, it went in the net. And for me to score that goal at Buffs Park would have been just the best feeling in the world. My dad was there. I got through and goal. Fucking Tommy Sheridan, who I knew where it comes, <laughs> takes the ball off me. <laughs> I was like, Tommy, you don't know what you've you done, mate. You destroyed me. Mate, Tommy. 
And after the game, he's like, oh, sorry, I didn't, I didn't know that, son. Didn't know that you didn't know, son. I'm sorry if I knew that, I would have let you, I would have let, let you score. score. I was devastated, oh, geez, man. man. Your moment, see, devastated. At least, see, at least you've not got Rudy Vata screaming at you and Albania. He's the side. mega he's just, serious. He said to me last time, why you kick the ball like it's your fucking enemy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a fucking, I'm not a real player. I you kicked up as it's your friend. Love the ball. <laughs> I, and he's fucking, he's, he's 90 yards of me. He's going, yo, fucking, why you, you a man? You play like child, you fucking man. That is exactly the way he goes on. This is, this is, the fuck is supposed to be a charity game? Oh. That's why I, I hate so Danies. That's why I hate Danies. And do you know, did you know play center? Did you play center off? I can't ah, remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rudy is like, he's oh, a big intimidating yeah, guy. Yeah, and he doesn't like, you know how like, so there were obviously like a couple of jokes because like um, we've had games where like, um, Darren Connell, for yeah. Scott Squad, yeah. comes, comes on. Celebrity like, guys come. They don't. Play. They don't. That that doesn't amuse them no, at, all. at all. They don't like it. No, they they're like you should not be in. You yeah. shouldn't be in this part. Oh come on! Hey, uh, great to see you. Uh, know that. Uh, big fan of your work. And all this. <laughs> they're no. They're no, no anti no, no, at no, all. No. They're 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 serious. still mega they off. Right. Seriously, mm. yeah. They need, but these guys. It was explained to me last time. These guys are winners. They're winners with a plane. Tiddly Winks well, at home Rudy with the kids. Was Rudy Vata a winner? Rudy was a winner. Rudy was a winner. In an unsuccessful <laughs> team. In, <quite laughs> unsuccessful, in a difficult period. <laughs> Rudy's story is quite something as well. Rudy's story but coming to Scotland living is amazing. Get him on one time. It's amazing. We should have, that's such a yeah, good yeah, story. Because yeah. he's, he's, he's... I don't think he left, didn't he? Let's not ruin it. Let's not ruin Rudy Get him on. Get Rudy on Does his he live in Scotland? Yeah, 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 yeah. Get him on. Aye, aye, get him on. But be prepared for fuck and he'll, he'll give you a terrible time. You better be on your game that day. Aye. This is not a fucking show. That's the way he goes on. That's the way he goes Call on. Call yourselves professionals. Ah, he's, he's great though, man, but he's aye. immaculate. He's fucking immaculate. But the players are great. It's just great mixing it with them. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you're in the showers with them all and then we have Oh, that's the best part. Fun. We have some great fun. Radio comes in. I come in. We all slap each other's willies. Oh, oh aye. Oh, look at the size of that. Aye, oh, aye, tasted aye. like a prawn. Sheer <laughs> <laughs> towels. Oh, absolutely. There's only one towel. I'll get it. Uh, Simon. Uh, <laughs> And, and, and <laughs> well, it isn't the Celtic dress, I fucking don't know about yours. <laughs> but we have fun regardless of the school. Uh, the, it's a fun day. I, uh, uh, I'm going to get your thoughts on uh, Neil mm. Lennon and Celtic, yep. the season just about to kick off in just a second. But um, I need to ask you very quickly about your part in Train Spotting 2. <laughs> For me, one of the iconic moments in the movie where you are. Um, um, in bed with a woman who's wearing a large dildo on the bed with a woman. <laughs> on the bed, we with never a woman. got into the bed. Yeah, because I'm bed. all about action. Yes, you're on yeah. the bed, and yeah. there's a woman with a dildo Huge. who's about to give it to you, yeah, yeah, yeah. big style. You then have a confrontation with sick boy, I do. and uh, we see your penis, we see your balls, mm -hmm. we see your ass. It's a very funny scene, very intimidating scene. See? Um, see? And, love that film. and but I've seen it like five, six times that see? movie. I love, I love it. it exactly. Great yeah. film. Was there, did Danny Boyle have to persuade you greatly to get your tackle out and your bum out and not all that? Not at all, not no. at all. So the story of it was we went for a casting with, the, with Gail Stevens, the casting director, and she, there was three or four parts we're reading for. And if you see the film, there's not a lot of parts in it. It's no, really about the no. boys coming back, and that's what everyone wants to see. So there's sort of there's doctor parts, and there's this, and then there's the other guy. There's Gordon Kennedy's part, who's also getting pumped. He's a headmaster. That's right. And he's, he's part of this scam as well. But they said to me, that we want something that's going to terrify us. I went, right, cool, and I read it. Nude scene, no, I don't bother, nude scenes. There's a nude, there's a nude scene in every one of Danny Boyle's films because he likes to even up the score. You know what I mean? Yeah. Women have been doing nude scenes for years, uh -huh. so there's, there's no big deal. It's not, you know, it's, 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 it's not a big taboo anymore, but it's quite full on, he said. So uh, so then he came for the next audition, you know, it was called in a week later, and I'm standing with a couple of pals, and he went, Simon, I'll see you in a minute. And the guy went, well, he fucking likes you, doesn't he? And right, magic went, and he went, so Simon basically, and all I remember him saying was, if we offer you the part, I don't remember anything else after that. It was something about, it's just cowboy boots, it's actually a fucking costume. And magic. Did it, he said, it terrified me, so I fucking terrified them. And they went, great. So I knew, I knew I'd got it. I knew right. I'd got it. So when just we, from that moment. From the you, moment. Yeah, yeah, you just know, you know sometimes. Auditions, it's one of these things that you go into, you have so many, you go, ah, fuck, I've nailed that. And you never hear from them again. Uh, and but there's ones that you do terrible, and you you know, you know. But that, but that, that like, communication with Danny, something about it, yeah. about it, because he's not a time waster. He goes, "You're fucking great for this." Yeah. So you got in, and it was Irvin that got us in, got us into the edition in the first place. Right. So Irvin's a pal of mine. We've been pals since the Acid House. Another nude scene. I'll, I'll send you a clip. <laughs> <laughs> you like that, didn't you? <laughs> and, uh, so uh, so yeah. So I had previous, I had previous in, in nudie territory with. with so how does one prepare for a scene like that where you you've you got train, sick you boy? You train a lot, man. You, you first of all, you're going to be nudie yeah and it's yeah. going to be it's going to be obviously it's, it's the most awaited you know eagerly awaited sequel yeah for you know, 20 years so you you need to 
you got. I, I was training three times a day, you know, and just 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 strip the fat, and just just look. Really yeah, fear in case you get a boner. No, not at all. No, no. <laughs> because that was my boner. <laughs> Cheeky bastard! It's got a bone in it. <laughs> Taste, my mouth tastes a little funny. So how long no, did, how, how many, how many but, but, takes were there of that scene? Oh, loads, 30. So you're running 30, around naked yeah, you for stand, 30 odd scenes? Stand you're standing naked. Eventually, naked. the place is so hot that you just don't wear the robe anymore. So you just, I mean, there's the people, uh, there's guys working on the crew and I'd known people for 30 years and everything. They remember me as a, a child actor and everything. <laughs> Fucking having their lunch and going, oh. <laughs> <laughs> People don't know where to look. So how you, how you doing? So I'm like, fuck. <laughs> and were you camped? No, no, I was, I was, well, I was kempt. Of course, I was kempt. I was, you know, I was, I was, I was tonsorially elegant down there. <laughs> uh, but, um, but eventually, I mean, even doing the scene. So we did the scene, and I walked down the. So I did the scene with Sick Boy, Naked Fight, and we we roughed all that up because the dialogue was something simple like, "If I see you again, mate, you're gonna die." And I said, Irvin, this is uh, 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 Danny. This is. Can I just rough this up?" He went, "Yeah, of course." So I said, "I see you again, cunt. You fucking die." So I, they went, went, oh, what a line! It's a great so that, line. That, so I, I wrote that. I wrote that. You did that line. That's a buzz, mate. I wrote that, and he said, "Look, just give us a bit of improvisation at the top." So the first of it is, I'm in the bed, and she's doing that. She said, "I want the scene to be really different to the other scene because the other scene's quite loving if you look at it because yeah. Gordon Kennedy's blowing off the dildo and things yeah. as well, and then he gets a, a sort of slower, deep pumping." So I said, "Right." This so we're in, we had a rehearsal day, you know, the, the set was all there, the bed. That's the first time I met John Lee Miller and and Angela. It was the, 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 the was my co-star in it, and uh, saw the dildos. Chose our dildos. <laughs> <laughs> choose, choose your weapon. She went, that the big one. I'm like, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> He said, come up with something. So I came up with like two pages of backstory. Most parts you get will do a backstory on anyway. But this was, look, this guy has been to Peterhead for 20 years. He's an armed robber. He's got used to, he's married. It's because it was all about that wedding ring. The mm -hmm. my new show of it's great. Yes, he's got a wedding ring on, he's married, but he's not getting it at home the way he got it from his cellmate. <laughs> so this guy likes a right deep pumping. So he fucking <laughs> loved all this. <laughs> he says, right, go with it. So he said, just give me some dialogue in front. And if you heard, some of it didn't make the thing, but if you heard some of the stuff that come out of my mouth <laughs> and that's that's what it's all about that and then I turned there's one bit I turned up and I go yeah, he's a fucking tight though jailhouse <laughs> <laughs> so the fucking cut and then everyone's falling about laughing and he and Danny Boy throughout this Danny Boy's singing my heart skips a beat by Ollie fucking Mars what? You, you arrive you arrive on set and you go into the offices and then there's a picture of Prince and there was a picture of um, Iggy Pop and you're like, oh, this is fucking cool. And he goes, I'm sorry, mate. I'm sorry. I said, go and stop singing. I was fucking, Danny, go and stop singing fucking Ollie Murs. I'm sorry. It was the last song I heard before I came out. My heart <laughs> skips, skips a beat. And I'm fucking. <laughs> <laughs> your, your heart skips a beat. How do you think I feel? <laughs> so all that. And then the bit when you go to the, so then I do, I do the scene, I do the fight scene. And that's got to match a bit of the end and all that as well. You only get wee bits of scripts. So you don't know what's going on and you're fucking dying to know. But it's just dead exciting. Or do you not get the film? Nah, no. you only get your bits and nah. it's all locked and all that. And then the bit where you walk down the corridor and I walk in and I bing the lift and the lift actually opens, but the set's great, it's all built. Mm -hmm. Bing, set opens, I walk in and there's this woman with a script. One of the script editors and that attention she just went. <laughs> <laughs> Reading that. Morning. Morning. <laughs> Going down. <laughs> the worst Aerosmith video you've ever fucking seen. <laughs> It's such a great, it's great scene. It's a it? powerful yeah. scene. It's, right, it's yeah. right at the top of the film. Yeah, and, um, and I remember I went to cinema three times to see it, and mm. every time I went to see it, it got a huge laugh. Absolutely, lap. absolutely. And it's it was great. menacing. Oh, it is. And it is. the thing is, though, I want nude fights hard I, to do. When you said the words. You're going to die. Yeah. I thought you were going to turn up again at some point. I yeah, wanted yeah, you yeah, to yeah, turn yeah, up yeah. again at some point yeah, in the movie. Yeah, three. <laughs> Are you listening? Simon, before I let you go, yeah. um, Celtic, mm. new season, about to kick off. Yep. Celtic, defending champions, going for nine in a row, under Neil Lennon. Brendan Rodgers clearly not there. He's at mm. Leicester. Um, confident, happy ahead of the new season? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think it's going to be much, much of the same as last year, to be perfectly honest. Um, we've lost a few players and we've, we've gained some guys. I'm just not sure about. I've been to three games already, three of the warm-up games already, and I'm, yeah, I don't know. It takes a long time to kind of bed into our game up here. So if you look at sort of volleyball and goalie, it takes a bit of time. He's been subbed twice, and you wonder. But I think I think it's there. I think it's there for us. Rangers will come back stronger every year. I, I said. Do even, you worry about them? Not yet, but I will next year. I think year after once they get back on equilibrium. I think. I think. I think it will take Gerard two years to bed in. I think they'll make a proper go of it this year. You know, the cup competitions, trebles and things are now much much harder. I don't think that's going to happen again. Um, because you need a, an unbeaten, settled team. So you expect to win the I league. I expect again. to win the league, and I think the yeah. focus will still be on the league. But for me, it's Europe. It's Europe still was the big disappointment, you know. And that's part of me dies when they go out of Europe, you know. It's, it's, so a, a decent European run is what I'd be really looking for this year. Concentrate on the league, win that, get to the ten in a row thing, and that that's really is you know history making. 
But it's um, it's it's all to play for. But I think Rangers will come back. Gradle's we... scowling. I know he is. I can no, feel him scowling. No, no, no. Steam coming out of his ears. Just... His wounds are all opening down his leg. It's like stigmata well, in here. Listen, there's there's the the, the the league's not started yet. We'll yeah. we'll soon find out fairly quickly yeah. what's going to happen. And they both had games. good pre seasons. You know? will you, will you, what I want to ask is, I take it you're delighted to see Lee Griffiths back playing the oh, team. Oh, he's he's one of my favourite players. Uh, his brother plays with us sometimes. So he does. He he's does, a goalie, yeah. isn't he? Aye, aye, aye. He's, 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 he's a goalie. He can. He can, he can Built the ball as well. Aye, aye. But, um, so I, I'd love seeing him back. So Celtic are winning the league. Celtic winning the league. Rangers are on you close. Rangers will run as close, but I think it's it another closer? runner as well. I think it will be closer, but I think it's more Rangers more are a threat when it comes to the cup games. Right. So Celtic top, Rangers Celtic second. Top. Who's third? I would say Celtic to do a double. So Celtic win maybe the league cup and the league. Okay. Rangers maybe for the cup. I don't know. I hate saying that, but maybe. Um, third. Who's going to be the the, the best of the rest? Difficult. I'd like to see Aberdeen up there again. I'd like to see them pushing, but I think it'd be surprising. It depends on Kamarnock and things as well. If they if they can get a run, I've got going a funny again. feeling for Hibs this year. Hibs could be really. I think good. Hibs I said Hibs as well. Hibs, I've Hibs said could Hibs be really well. good. Yeah, yeah. So if you guys say Hibs, I'll go for I mean, Aberdeen. I, I think Aberdeen will ultimately finish third, but I think Hibs will give them a right good run for the Absolutely. money. Absolutely, Hibs. I mean, Hibs are a great great sort of setup as well, and I think Lennon left left them in good conditions. That's well, right. You know? So there's a good setup there for somebody to, you know, to to. With the right players coming in and the team settling, as yeah, well, they will do something. And who will get relegated? If it's not Rangers, who's <laughs> <laughs> got to say that? Do you know who's got to say that? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to see the first few games. I'm not going to say anyone on relegation just now as well because you don't. You don't want that fucking hanging over you. No. But, um, Simon Weir, it has been an absolute pleasure. Thanks for coming in, mate. Thank you very much, man. All the best. Lovely. Three day. It's now time on the Football Daft Podcast to look at what's happening in the world of transfers and transfer gossip. Now, Ryan Kent, who you've been keeping your fingers crossed, that might be turning back up at Rangers for another loan deal. Uh, According to Jurgen Klopp, he ain't going to be going out on loan. Not and the only, only way he, he's going to be leaving Liverpool is if someone buys him. And Rangers are not in a position to buy Ryan Kent. So that dream is over. The dream is over, especially no 10 million. I think, is that the price tag? That, that is a price for? tag, yeah. He's played a couple of games because I've, I was, I've uh, looked online uh, and watched a couple of games streamed and he's been taking part in, in, in Liverpool. Well, he's, he's not so. going to be part of the first team squad, apparently. So if somebody comes in with a decent offer, then they will let him go. However, Ryan Kent's representatives have said... There's no way somebody's going to pay that kind of money for Ryan Kent. No. Because he's still, to, if truth be told, to prove himself. So um, you never know. It still might happen, but according to Jurgen Klopp, he ain't going anywhere unless somebody wants to buy him. Aberdeen are in the news this week because, again, Scott McKenna is very much a wanted man. Two clubs in England have bid for the defender, QPR and Nottingham Forest. Both have apparently... Uh, offered three million. They ain't going to get him for three million because last no, year. Was it was Celtic that were wanting him last year, but they know they were Celtic did want him last year. Wanting something nine ten million, they were looking for him. So. Aberdeen says, "Yeah, you can have him if you pay us ten million. Aye. So they're mm. not going to get him for three million. Uh, oh, yeah. Hull City are also interested in the uh, centre half from Aberdeen, but again, Aberdeen are playing hardball, and why not? He's a talented. No, player. he's a great player. He's man. only twenty two. He's got a big future ahead of him, and if Aberdeen want ten million, then stick to your guns. You don't need the money. Get the 10 million you want for them. Uh, St. Mirren Chief Executive Tony Fitzpatrick has assured St. Mirren fans they will be seeing new signings. Saints have lost 13 players <laughs> from last season and they're looking like they're on a sugly peg already. I think that they are. That's why I think they're going to get relegated. You think just, they're automatic uh, relegation? Well, I, I think I think this they're year gone. Looks, just with, the, with this, with this, Kieran, where the, the, the players leaving and how they, they handled the. Uh, what do you call him, Oren? Or I, or on It just yeah. seems as if it's a bit falling apart there for. Well, they for lost thirteen long. players. They lost the manager. Um, they have brought in Tony Andrew and Owen Jorkiev have arrived, but apart from that, it's not looking particularly good for St. Mirren. Uh, Man United are said to be going hell for leather in their bid to land former Celtic striker Moussa Dembele. Uh, the money that's been quoted for Moussa Dembele from Lyon is between forty and fifty million pounds, which means that Celtic will get a ten. Percent sign um, um, ten percent sell on clause in the contract, so they could get anything between four and five million if Dembele makes the move. 
to Manchester United, which is likely to happen because Juventus are apparently the front runners to sign Romelu Lukaku for £75 million. So if they go and get Dembele for £50 million or £25 million in the in the green. Celtic have, have, have done brilliant over the last couple of years, haven't they? With, with, with Van Dijk and Van Yama. Having these wee clubs, I mean, I know all the teams do it, but sometimes you can be upset about a player leaving your club and then a couple of seasons later you get another week and a... We went Are we cherry? Are we cherry Are on we top cherry? of the cake? Yes. And this looks to be the case for Dem Belly. Also, it seems uh, Falkirk could be given a boost in their campaign to go out of League One. The club are on the verge of takeover from businessman Mark Campbell. Do you know who that is? No, he's an American. He's so I was thinking it was maybe the Campbell's the soup or something like that, no? <laughs> it could have been. Campbell's soup. It could have been. So uh, he's an American uh, businessman. And he's going to bring in former Celtic scout John Part as the director of football. I was wondering how, like, um, how did he decide that? You know, let's bring him in as the director of football. No idea. Well, he's promised that, the Fol- that Falkirk will be back in the top flight and in the top six within the next 10 years. Well, my... That's big ambition. That's a lot. Of, that's, uh, that's big words. Ah, the Burns. Good luck to the Burns. Yeah, they're, and they're the in the league. Well, will they get promotion to the championship? Fucking hell. Are they in League One? I thought they were in the championship. <laughs> Are they in League One? Oh, the Burns. Oh, the Burns. It's the Football Daft Podcast with Ewan and Grado, and we're delighted to have in the studio with us a man who's played for over 20 clubs, including Benfica, Hearts, Hamilton, St Mirren, and Les Mahego. It's the one and only Jose Katongo! Hey! <laughs> and being a Hearts man, I've known you for a number of years. We've been friends for a number of years. You, my friend, when you played with Hearts at Tyne Castle, you lit up the place. Thank you were one of the best players to pull on that maroon jersey. Oh, thank you. You're going to make me cry here in the <laughs> 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 um, I've just I've just named some of the clubs you played for, Jose. Mm-hmm. You've played for over twenty clubs. Name them. I started with Benfica. Okay. And then I went alone to Sturil Praia. This way I broke my leg. Mm-hmm. And then after that, my contract finished. I moved to. I went to England. One of my pal signed for Birmingham. He said, Jose, come, come with those recuperation, and then try get something. And I went there for recuperation. I've been there for four weeks. And then he sent me in Ireland. I played for Waterford Island and mm-hmm. then for six months. And then after that, I moved to Sweden. I played for Sweden six months and then went to Darlington <laughs> for two weeks because the, ma- the, the manager used to be my agent. And then he sent me to Hamilton. <laughs> yeah. Ah, so you went from Benfica Deca, yeah. to Estoril, okay. Waterford, oh, to Sweden, when, to Darlington, and then to Hamilton. Hamilton Ackes, yeah. And right. then and the, so what year did you turn up at Hamilton Ackes for the first time? You, uh, you played Hamilton on three, three occasions. Time, yeah, I think in 94. 94. In November 94. This is when I come, I swear to God, you're so cold, <laughs> freezing. I remember... I come and say, fucking hell, I can't. This place is mental. I see all the guys for fucking hell. Man. I'm like, I swear. We went, actually, my first game, we played uh, Les, Les Hamden. The Les Hamden. Hamden. Yeah, that all place. Right. I remember Sunday in Monroe, say Jose, get in. We play nighttime. I'm like, what the hell? Now I'm on the bench. I say, please don't call me. Say Jose, get in. See, before I go in the park, the feet, ice. <laughs> You know, eyes. You de- you see this black guy be- come from hot place, and then you know what I mean. Come to I swear. But after that, no problem. Adapt the Scottish football, and it's no problem. And it. you've got a love affair with Scottish football because you played with Hamilton on three separate occasions. Yeah. You played with Harsh. You played with St Mirren. You played with Kilmarnock. Glen Afton. I remember you played with Glen Afton. That's right. Yeah, Aloha. Yeah, so I seen you at the Buffs Park. Uh, Par- <laughs> Partick Thistle, Dumbarton. I know. Uh, Livingston, Stenhouse Muir, Glen Afton, as Greg I, just said. I, Pollock, Les Mahego, Muirkirk. So you've been around in Scotland. I know, man. I'm oh Scotch now, man. You know, uh, I swear I've been. But the problem, you know, is a lot of people ask me, why you always no last in the club? My problem, when I used to play, I signed a two-year, two-year deal. See, after that, I always want to get another move. Another move. Yeah, somebody phoned me now, brother. Jose, look, you want to come now? one? I said, well, why not? Because I don't want to, when I finish play, and say, I wish... I went to another team, team, you know, I always try, you know, 
that's mm, fuck me up, <laughs> you know. I, that, that mean I can't get a testimony, man, because <laughs> 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 I'm fucked, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Um, we'll we'll talk about mm. the the other clubs in Scotland you played for, but you're 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 best known if truth be told, nothing against Hamilton. Yeah. I mean, you pl- oh. you played on three separate occasions for Hamilton, but. Yeah. Let's talk about your time at Hearts because it was such a great time and what a great the, team you played with as well. Mm-hmm. And, and Hearts did go close to winning the league, league. in 1998. 97, 98. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, was it? Yeah, it was 97, 97, 97, 98. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I remember the game where I think it went pear shaped. We were 2 0 up against Hibs mm-hmm. and we ended up drawing 2 2 with them at Tynecastle. And I think that's the moment when we realised we might not win the league this year. And mm-hmm. um, that kind of like derailed us but what a team you played for Jose I kind of complain people sometimes say Jose why you know start that team see the team you know just a amazing team you, you know we have New McCann David Weir Paul Rich Gary Lo- you know Jim, S- Steve Fulton Steve Fulton Stephen Adam, Adam yeah. Jose Thomas Flo we are amazing be a part of that team is amazing man That's- just that's the team that won the Scottish Cup, yeah, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. With that year, we, we like, we still like... Oh, it's level and level. Yeah, level yeah. level. Yeah. Aye, aye, aye. It was uh, amazing that, that year, man. Fantastic. Aye. Aye. We have amazing time. But falling season, because we're so confident, we, we need a relegation, man. <laughs> 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 they didn't play shame, man. We just got beat all the time. But amazing. But, but, but when you look back, mm-hmm. would you say that was the best year at Hearts for you when yeah, you were there? Yeah. I mean, you didn't oh, play, yeah, you no, played games, but yeah, not, you didn't not, start many. Yeah, I'm always in the bench because Nima can fly that time, you know. Uh, he was you a know? Great oh, player. great player. Just be part of that team is, you know, amazing. Because we just, the manager just amazing. James Jeff, he's, he's still talking we, because we always meet all the boys, you know. Oh, we do you ha- still meet together? Oh, meet together. We, uh-huh. we had an amazing team. Uh-huh. I remember we went in Scotch Cup, we went to Magaluf. Brilliant. You know, I swear, we fly from Newcastle, we get the bus here, 7 o'clock in the morning. Everybody carry out, man, a couple of beer. Everybody steaming, man. We went to Magaluf, fuck every steam. I'm <laughs> last two nights, I went to the airport, bought my ticket, eh, fly back home, man. <laughs> you with him? <laughs> yeah, because at 10 o'clock, everybody steaming. I walk myself, man. Because you don't street. drink. I'm not drink, man. I walk oh, my street in the street, man. Like, no, James, no pals, man. I'm like, no, I go back home. You know what I mean? It's crazy. <laughs> you paid for your own ticket. Yeah, my ticket. Home. Yeah, come back home. But it's amazing. That team just, you know, yeah. I think for me, the best arts team ever. You know, just right. amazing the way we play. You know, the manager, the, everybody just, you know. What, what was Jim Jeffries like as a manager? Was he? He's, he's a hard man. But with me, He's a hard man, but with me, he's very nice. Yeah, he always look after me. Oh, do you look yeah. after me? Yeah, he look after me. I remember we went for winter break in Portugal. We stopped in the, we, we got we, uh, the airport, yeah, we stayed there. Yeah. Me, New McCann, Paul Rich, and Colin Kama, we play snooker. I'm mm-hmm. not playing, I'm just lying. Lie there. And we see the, the screen, the flight to Lisbon cancel. We think we're going to Algarve. We don't go to Lisbon. We say, ah, flight cancel. Two hours, man. The, the guys wait for us. The manager wait for us in the plane. It's, it, the guys, I knew, the players from Alex come in the gate, blah, blah, blah. We run it. Tut, 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 tut. The manager stand next to the door, the plane. James Jeffrey, he's a big guy. Aye. Where the fuck you been? <laughs> <laughs> Where the fuck? I said, Gav, you two weeks wait. You two weeks wait. Ah. And then we went in the plane. And he asked me, Where the fuck you, Mr. Nice Guy? What, what the fuck? I said, Gav. We just seen the, the screen, we think the flight cancel, man. And then everybody will start laughing. And then, you know what I mean? Went to Portugal, it was just, it's great. That team is it's just amazing. I can't complain about that team. Be part of that team is, uh, you know. I mean, we were, we were talking um, off air before we recorded this podcast. And mm. you were telling me mm. that, that you look back on your time at Hearts and your football career as a whole, mm-hmm. that if you had applied yourself... Very well, yeah. If and you'd applied yourself, then you would have played at a higher I, level. Yeah. You, you would have gone on to bigger and better bigger. things. Yeah. I, but, but that's because your mindset wasn't right. You thought you were it. Mm-hmm. You were a party boy. Yeah. Even mm-hmm. though you didn't drink, yeah. you liked to party. So when yeah. you were in Edinburgh, what would your day be? No, but that time I used to, I used to stay in Hamilton that time. You even stayed in Hamilton, Hamilton even when you played at Hearts? Well, yeah, because we travel all the time. Mm-hmm. But my problem that time, you know, I just feel, I know I apply myself very well because I never drink, never smoke, but I used to like go part, Hamilton Palace, all the lasses. <laughs> oh, Jose, let's go party. You think you're the man? <laughs> Woo! I'm the man. You know what I mean? This is why I sometimes say to the kids, 
you want to play the higher level, you need to drink, eat right, drink right, you know, put a lot of things right in your body because see, if you think you can, can't sleep and gonna go play, no think so. No way, Jose. No can you can't, <laughs> you know? Because you know. I but know. So, so here's my thing, Jose, right? Look, at, I mean, you were a talent. I mean, what a player you were. The skills, the pace, you had it all. Flair. The flair. Why, Jose, could you not just sort of like leave the girls alone, leave, go to bed at but, five o'clock in the morning? But, but you and this, is, this is what happened. You, I'm sometimes I'm Nick, Nick, I don't drive that time. And Nick, you for go home. It's about camp. Come in the house. You come with me. You are gonna say no. <laughs> <laughs> come on. Come on. Exactly. Come on. You gonna I, say, I how cool this guy you're is, gonna, right? You're gonna, say, I mean? you're gonna say no. Nah, I can't. I can't. I can't. You know what I mean? And this is this is the problem. You know, you try saying that. I just feel. Did you ever at any point in your career playing mm -hmm. football when you were at a party and a girl says you're coming home with me? Did you say no? I never said no. <laughs> 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 you know, never say no. Now you ma you man, and now you say, oh girl, no, come on, leave me alone. But not time, you know, you young, you think you're a Superman. You know what I mean? Aye. But you know what? But see, at the end of the day, mm -hmm. did you enjoy yourself? Oh, can I complain? I, see, you know. <laughs> I can't complain. Fuck you know? yeah, that sounds brilliant. That sounds brilliant. <laughs> I can't complain. It's just amazing. You know, right. just, so did you have the pick of the girls when you were at Hamilton Palace? I, I'm how to say, I'm a lucky guy. You know, no matter, you know, we can go a group. I'm lucky. I don't know explain. Just. I mean, what age are you? I'm uh, <laughs> 45. Are you? I mean, look old. He's a good looking guy. Yeah, look, so he's oh, oh, oh. I look older than him. No, great. You look no, no, I swear to God. Look, I just feel, look, my six packs, they, everything's good. You know, I'm always, and now, great, I'm running, do a lot of things. Aye. I'm so fat now. Aye. I play over 35. Are you a better player now than you were 20 years ago? Is your mindset, mindset better? Yeah, my mindset better, but I don't mean, you know what I mean? I was a better player because. Uh, no, I was better. I just feel, you know, I swear, my pals, everybody comment and say, Jose, you're the player I, you know what I mean? See, when I used to play Benfica, when I was in Benfica that time, I remember somebody see me in Port Angola, say to my, my parents, Jose, we won't take Jose to Portugal. They take me to Portugal. I stay in the, uh -huh. in the, in the stadium, like hotel, with 30 people stay in that place. And then after two weeks, we went to France, to Paris. I'm like, for this boy come from the jungle, and you know what I mean? I see all this thing. I'm there, oh man, this is good. You know, I remember. We went to hotel, France hotel. You know, you know the things in the, in the bath, for in the, in the toilet for the bath. If we put in the bath, what's it called? Bubble bath. Bubble bath, bath. Yeah. 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 Orange one, I say, fucking hell, I look juicy here, man. What the hell? <laughs> Dilute and yes. I make, I swear to God, I make that. I drink a fucking shit all night. <laughs> Lord of you. Lord of you. I, I went there for play. Tube in the hospital, man. No play. Two weeks, man. Falling tube, man. Shit all over the place. I'm like, you know what I mean? Because you drank bubble, bubble bath. Because yeah. you thought it was dilute and juice. Yeah, because that time, you know, that time you don't know that. You know what I mean? You, you don't know. How old were you? Uh, 10. You know, <laughs> okay, man. You know? Tube ambulance coming, we won't, we won't, we won't. You know what I mean? It's crazy. But oh, it's good. You know, it's oh, funny. Man. See, you've got these amazing, amazing stories. Mm. But see, you've got two sons that play football now. Yeah. How are they? Do you, uh, what can I, what do you try and teach them? Do you tell them no to get down the route, the route that you went with yeah, the, the partying? Or? Yeah, yeah, just, you know what I mean? Young kids in these days, you know, they have an own mind. But you just try, you know, invite, look. You know, you have two roads. You, you can go that way or can go that way. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. You try saying that to them, but yeah, they're good. You, you know what I mean? It's, are, uh, are, are they listening to your dad? Is that what? Yeah. They, are they? Are they taking your advice or do they like to party? No, like they, no, no, no. They listen to me. They right. yeah, they're good boys. Aye. Yeah. Who are they playing with? They just know who they playing. One playing Iran and Iran. In Iran? Yeah. He's in Iran. There's a Iran. Yeah. There's yeah. A bit of fucking third world war to start and there. One, and the other mm -hmm. one just signed up for Donbass because he's been in the arts and no play for a year because he's. Sure. Had the operation shoulder is signed for Dumbarton now. Uh, you know, it's just so is it Dumbarton just now? Is yeah, it right for yeah. the new season? New season, yeah. Um, the mm -hmm. Scottish Cup heart, that Hearts won in 1998 mm -hmm. is that the best moment of your career? Yeah, yeah. Why I, are you thinking about no, that? No, 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 no. I just think about the, the other things. Yeah, I well, think that 20 clubs. I know there's a lot of things to think about. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, that the best. Yeah, the, that the best. It's just uh, because we know expect to win, but you know, I play all the games. I've been dropping the final. Uh, yeah, I don't play. Oh, the, you final. played every round. Yeah, I play every round. Uh, Score, you know, in the final, I've been dropped, man. 
you know? I'm like, where? So when did you get told that you were getting dropped for the Scottish Cup final? Before the game. The Just before yeah, the game? Yeah, before the game. Because you prepare, your manager is very good, you know? But, but you understand the team. You just support the team and, you know, was amazing. We went... Uh, See, I never see Edinburgh so busy, man. A lot of people. So, so does Jim Jeffries pull you aside no, and speak it, no, to you? No, 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 no. Just say the team. That's the he team. just puts the team out. Yeah, the team out. But because you footballer, you need it. You know what I mean? I've been disappointed, but happy for the boys. You know? Yeah. That's what happened. Football, you've, got win, uh, you've, you've got the medal. No, I'm not getting the medal, man. Try next some, somebody. Ah. No, I'm joking. No. But I'm not getting the medal because just the, the guys in the bench. The guys yeah. in the bench, you just get oh. nothing. Yet, but I remember that day. I remember that day watching that game. I must have been I must have been 10. I remember because there was a lot of Rangers players' but, last games. Yeah. It was Ali's last Ali game. Games. It was yeah. Gorham's last, last game. game. Yeah. And Gordon it was just, it was, oh, we're going to win this. Yeah, we're easy. definitely going to win. Was it 2 0? 2 1. 2 1. 2 1. I was crazy. Crying. Yeah, I, was crying. I was crying. I was crying. I was. Oh, that was a. Uh, that's just. You know what I mean. Fantastic. You know. Right. Was I that a penalty? Yeah, penalty. Yeah, great penalty. Yeah, the harsh penalty. Yeah, it was penalty. It was penalty. You see, we watch all the time. Rangers was, fans keep saying to this day it wasn't a penalty. No, it's a penalty. Penalty. It was penalty. No, it was know? a penalty. Yeah. Um, <laughs> do, you, do you get um, see? So see the 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 hearts and hubs games. What were they like? Did you? The, oh the, the man, man my, my first game actually. I play for us. I score two now. We win two now. Robo score. I score. Yeah. What yeah, striker yeah. Robertson was that? Oh, some some yeah. striker is Robo. Uh, yeah. Oh, different class. So your first game Go against up. Hebs, you scored. Score. Yeah, two one. And I remember the I score actually the Hebs the way Hebs support. The Hebs support. I went go that way. Jim Hamilton push and that's the okay, we boss. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you know football's funny. Sometimes this I say to the people. You play football, you need to get it, have a good head because you get a lot of steak. It's steaks are part of football. I like when the people give you pre- pelters. It's great. Yeah. You Aye. know what I mean? I love Sos it. Yun. Yeah. Aye. Fucking shit. Uh, yeah. shit. You say, you know what? It's fucking that country going to pay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's the, you know, that's the, that's the. So you, you know, didn't mind the banter oh, I'm, and no, everything? No, no, I'm, no, no, no. I'm not mind. It's, it's football. You Aye. know what I mean? So Aye. no matter what someone shouted at you, did, oh, you no. did you use it as an inspiration? I'm not, see, because the way I am, I always laugh, carry on. I'm not bold about this kind <laughs> of thing. You know what I mean? I'm this, this way. I'm. Was there any players that you can remember that tried to intimidate you? No, or no, tried no. To you no, 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 I'm, no, no, no. I am swear I'm no. Because when I used to play, I remember we play against Celtic. Celtic used to have a big animals, man. <laughs> see that one, you get the ball, you just run fast. Can it catch you, man? Can it catch you? <laughs> <laughs> you know, but it's good. See, when you were playing for mm. Hearts mm-hmm. and you played such a great team, mm-hmm. who was the most intimidating player? Who was the toughest defender you came up against? Uh, against? Against in Scotland. In Scotland. Uh, actually, I don't know. I'm never... Were well, you no. never worried about no, anyone? No, 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 no. I just, you know, that time I'm just mega the country, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm no problem. I swear, I'm no... People say, I'm no, I'm just go, I like go play and, you know, you know, do my stuff, mm-hmm. you know. So you never worried about the opposition? No, no, You no, never no. worried about the defender you're playing against? No, 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 no. I just look, say, I only problem I'm just, I used to look, see if we have a start, mm-hmm. you know, because that, some defenders, they... Try to get Yeah, uh, I'm like, you, you know, you. I look, I say, no, that's good, you know, and then... That's it? Play, yeah. Oh, the uh, only homework you did was to check to see if they had studs so, or so not? The, yeah, yeah. You know, but it's great. Did you ever dive? Oh, I'm number one diver. I remember. <laughs> I remember with Hamilton. I swear, when I come over oh, and with Hamilton, we play against <laughs> Livingston. I, actually, we promote that way. I swear, you. Know, we beat them one, two one. I have the ball, but that time I, I'm skinny, I'm fucking that best guy just push me. I'm fucking like or the gaff. Yeah, I'm like I my dive. I used to. Do that way and then come back that way. Oh. All the guys, you fucking bastard, get up, you fucking fight. I swear to God, if I didn't pull me up, fucking dive with you, bass. I'm like, you know what I mean? But so you mastered yeah. the dive, oh, oh, you mastered the dive. You were the best. Oh, number one. <laughs> no. Did you win many penalties? Yeah. Touch me a little bit. I'm like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> Penalty, you know, <laughs> it's funny, I swear. But now I see the dive, that is terrible, you know. Oh, no, but, but no problem, because now they have a... VAR. Yeah, yeah, it's good, you can't but, dive. D- but, do you, but did you do it in a way that was an art form? Was it convincing? Yeah, oh, if you can it's like somebody shoot you, man. Boom! Right, right. down, yeah, it's bad, the guys you should be mental, man. Diving, we pass. The def- you know, defenders don't like you, Oh, then. no, 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 no. I remember, what's the name, Boyle? Used to be Edry. 
what's the name is Boyle? Jamie Boyle. Boyle, yeah. This, he said, we talked a few months ago, he said to me, Jose, see when we play for Edge, we used to say, you play for Hamilton, we used to say, who's going to kick that we bastard first? They used to be, yeah. <laughs> they used to ask for you? Well, yeah. But, Were you a target? Oh, pew, but because but my legs move so quick, they can't, man. <laughs> see them in the shadow, just, you know. <laughs> the shadows. Yes, yeah, it's, it's great. Can't complain. Football's it's aye, good, great. Aye. It's fun. Do you still follow Hearts results? Do you always? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm getting invited all the time. Get oh, you half-time did. draws and, mm-hmm. you know. I remember I've been working with a and m and m the game. I, I remember Hearts play Liverpool in the European. Uh, European League? Yeah. 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 I said to my pal, listen, I'm not going to go, man. You cover me up, okay? Cover me up, you know. I went, I do half-time draw. My boss phoned me. Next day, Jose, how's the... The coaching, I said, oh, it's great, man. It's very good. He said, lying bastard. I see in the tele, do half time job. Sack me, man. Sack you? Yeah, sack me, man. <laughs> Chicken bugger, man. I swear. Sack me. I swear, great was kind of, you know, kind of lie, man. You You're know. there on the tele. Oh, the t- exactly. <laughs> Where you going to say no? You know, <laughs> it's crazy, man. Right. Um, let's um, talk about Hearts as they are preparing for the new season. Mm-hmm. Um, kicks off this weekend, Jose. And I know mm-hmm. you keep. Mm-hmm. track at hearts what's yep. going on at hearts and i know that you're a wee bit pissed off at being misquoted mm-hmm. about yep. something that you mm-hmm. apparently yep. said about the manager craig levine now i know that you're close to craig levine yeah and um, i'm sure he'll be pissed off at you for mm-hmm. what you've allegedly said no but, uh, but you'd never at any point criticize craig levine no, no, in no, his no, style no. of play no 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 that i talk about when they ask i talk about the way levinston play no no out i think i'll play do well, just I just feel that that, that time because the lot of injured because they fly and then start pick up the injured. Nate you know, Smith, better, the, yeah, that, yeah, you know, and then go down. No, I love Greg Levin. The way Alex plays, it's good. Can't complain, you know. <laughs> can't complain. I said. It's, he wants to t- keep getting his gigs doing half time draws. <laughs> Ewan, fuck's sake, come on. <laughs> Should Craig Levine move back upstairs alongside Ann Budge and bring another manager in? In your opinion, Jose? No, I just I keep Craig there. I, I, I like Craig. So the way I like play. Craig Levine. I him. It's, you know, school man. <laughs> I like Craig. Craig's I good. think he's I'm very not, entertaining. Not, I, I know, I know. I'm not saying he's a bad but guy. Yeah, I, I he's know, a I nice know. guy. But I like the guy. Yeah, just, yeah. I'm talking about but, as a manager. Yeah. yeah. It's football about opinions. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And what's just, your opinion? My opinion, uh, no, it's... Why, why, why are you keep pointing him. at me? I'm not you, you know this is on camera. Leave him a fucking Elaine. <laughs> this is on camera. He's a dick, isn't he? He's a dick. Who is he? This is on camera. You Your face you. says something no, I, else. You and I love you, man. <laughs> Jesus. He's a dick. So um, how do you think Hearts will do this season? I think, you know what I mean? I think... He's made a couple of signings, eh? I think he's going to... What about Ness Smith? I don't know. Yeah, he's, 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 I think that's going to happen, yeah? Yeah. What do you, you think we'll finish? I think this season, you know, fourth place. Uh, no, third place. Third? Third, yeah. third, third ahead third of place. Aberdeen? Yeah. Ahead of Hibs? Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, you, you used to play for Kelly as well, didn't you? Yeah, you played, played for Kelly. Yeah. What about Kelly this year? You know, they've got the uh, new no, manager. I don't, I don't know new manager. I just, I, know. I just feel Kelly, we did manage the Steve Clark. Steve mm. Clark. Oh, just different class, man. The yeah. way they play and, you know, the place is just amazing. I think... This new manager, I don't know nothing you about this man. Yeah. I need oh. to bring this up. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Jose Katongo, who mm-hmm. I love dearly and was one of my favourite Hearts players uh, <laughs> when you were at Tynecastle. Mm-hmm. You appeared on the BBC programme Off oh, the Ball. Yeah. Right? Live on the radio. Mm-hmm. Whereas there are rules that are governed by Ofcom. Yeah. Right? But, 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 but you, my friend, mm-hmm. said a swear word. Yeah. The worst swear word. Twice I know. on you, the radio, live, off the ball. That you nobody tell me that because <laughs> <laughs> look, just the same. Look, we hear, we talk with this thing. We just talk it's, normal. It's easy, yeah, to get easy. To, yeah, you forgot. You know what I mean? Uh, I remember. I say can't twice. I see the producer. No. <laughs> you know what I mean? No. Yeah, people complain, man. You know? Did they complain? Yeah. I. But why I say that? Because all the managers I play with, I play. They always call me that. See you, we can't. Aye. Okay, but yeah, this is a term of endearment. Yeah, yeah. It's a nice okay. word. See you, we can't. You, you know what You pick up that, Aye. you know, word. And because it's like, when I, if I'm ever talking about Jose, I say, Jose, oh, he's oh, a good cunt. Yeah, he's, he's a, a good he's cunt. cunt. Yeah, you know what I mean? That's the Aye. way. Yeah. And it's easy, as it's easy, easy for it to get in your dialogue. I hate, I hate that, that 
yeah. that I swear so much, but it's because we use it so much that's in my everyday well, language. Yeah. Yeah. For something you that's coming in our country, you don't realise yeah. how... Yeah, yeah, it's the, yeah, you know, you pick up all how the... How bad it is. So, yeah. Yeah. so do you like using that word? Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah, I use it all the time, but you know, <laughs> you for, you know, you for, sometimes you... Forget you, you know, what yeah, you are. Yeah, you know... You can. forget where you yeah, are. You know, but it's great. So hey, come here. I'll ask a question. I'll come on because I love it. I love your passion. Yeah. Is there any football players that you fucking hated? No, I love everybody. Everybody. No, you yeah. don't I love everybody. everybody. No, I, I, you can't love everybody, you Jose. Not, you not, is there everybody you want? Get him fucking. No, you nah. not, No, I love everybody. I'm really? not, Yeah, I'm not problem. The managers that you thought. I want him sacked. No, 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 no. I'm. A, you know what I mean. I'm not. Pro- I mean, easy bogger man. I'm no problem. Who was the worst manager you worked with? No, I like everyone. Really? Yeah. Who? Like, make one up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I, I said, ooh, ooh, it, who? Who was your favourite player mm-hmm. to hang out with when you were at Hearts? I, we hung about together. Oh, it was a good group. group. We all used to go out. Everybody together. Everybody look tum, tum, together all mm-hmm. the time. We are a good group. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we go out. Who together. was your favourite? No, I like everybody. <laughs> <laughs> no, I swear, I, I, right. I love everyone, right. you know, it's right. good. Everyone You've is got good. a lot of love to give. I mean, yeah. you're handing all that love in Hamilton after yeah. a night out at Hamilton Palace. Yeah. You're yeah. handing all that love to the players and the managers. You're right. just no. all about love, yeah. man. Yeah. yeah, you're a cheating diving bastard. <laughs> 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 no, I was, I was cheating, yeah. So you loved the players, you loved yeah. all the managers. Yeah. How much do you love the Scottish women? Now, no, now I find my Miss Right. You found the Mrs. Uh, right, yeah, but yeah. back in the day? No, and yeah, and back in the day, you know what I mean? It's great. I remember, I swear, I, when I play in Sweden, you see in Sweden, never see Ogland board in Sweden. Beautiful. No, they're all stunning. I remember I used to date this girl, man. You know, she's lying in bed. Aye. You sit down there in the bed and say, oh, I don't believe I. You Done know that. what I mean? Yeah, mm-hmm. she's like an angel, like. Mm-hmm. Until you come to Scotland, man. <laughs> Fucking the morning, the girl that fuck are you doing here, you bastard? You know, you are, what? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's crazy, but I love it. It's very good. <laughs> nice, you know? Get it to sweat, you wake up in the morning, man. Like, what the fuck, that? <laughs> You know, it's funny. I love it. You know, it's good. It's good. Oh, you and this is my favourite interview. <laughs> I swear to God, you and this is crazy. So, the difference between a Scottish woman and a Swedish woman is. No, Scotch, no, it's beautiful Scotch woman. <laughs> nice, you know, but I just, be, before I come from Sweden, and then, you know what I mean? Eyes are like, different. Yeah, yeah. you're like, like fucking hell, man, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> you know? Scottish women are quite forward. Oh, no, yeah, nice. Yeah, forward, yeah. Uh, you know? <laughs> very forward. I, I, remember, I remember being in the palace, this boat coming to me like, you want to score today? I'm like, you want what? You want to score, score uh, like... Yeah, you, you want, want what? You're a Scottish girl. Yeah, one Scottish. She said to me, if I want to score, like a score. Yeah, do you want to score? Yeah, right, twelve pound note. No, <laughs> score. I say, no, we draw one, one, one because I don't oh. understand what she means. Oh, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, she want. To, I say, no, we draw. I say, you know, I'm like, you know, just the way they talk. You like, you know, it's fine, but it's good. You know, kind of complain. It's great. Oh, that's so, um, mm-hmm. so. Talking about scoring, mm-hmm. would you like to put a number on how many women you scored hey, with? I knew you were going to in, uh, in Scotland. No, no, no my, uh, my fiance. Come on, you, no. you can't eat it. Uh, I know. Great to tell her. Great to tell her. You can. can. We've all got a history. No, Good. No. Stop. You, you we all have a history. Like, stop acting like a scumbag journalist. <laughs> <laughs> try to fuck it. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> He's coming yeah, on and he's trying to tell us. We're talking about it. <laughs> he's telling you, it's obvious he's pump tunnels up. <laughs> it's obvious he's doing what he's saying. You know what I mean? Anyway, you had uh, a good time. Yeah, kind of complain. You loved your football. Yeah. You've been in Hamilton 21 years. Yeah, tw- Why yeah. Hamilton? Why have you stayed in Hamilton? Because I just went there and I sailed down there. The boys born and then, you know what I mean? I've been there mm. since. So you like it? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. You, do you think you'll leave Scotland? Never say never, no. but I like you know I have a lot of pals here, and you know no. people nice. Never have a problem with no Who, one. Who's the most skillful player you played with? The most skillful player I played with. Mm. I get with Jim yeah. Hamilton. No, <laughs> no, all over the place. All over is Rui Costa, the one who played. Rui Costa, yeah. what a player! The one who played for Milan, yeah. Milan Florentina. Yeah, plays. What a player! Yeah. He grew up with me in the Benfica in the stadium, mm-hmm. all that. So yeah, he's. Very good. Right. Best Hearts player? Best. Oh, a lot of players, man. New McCann, Jim, uh, 
David Weir, you know. Who is the best in your opinion? Nimakan. Did you play with Jules Rousset? No? Yeah, yeah, all them. Yeah, all them. Do you still talk about Jules Rousset? Yeah, all the time. We have Facebook. Yeah, we talk are you s- are you, are you all use us now in a WhatsApp group? Yeah, WhatsApp. But I hate that. It's Jules Rousset on yeah, your WhatsApp group. Yeah, I hate that because they send you a lot of shit. <laughs> oh, I know me. I hate <laughs> that. I, know. I hate that. I know. Person. You sleep, man. <laughs> I know, you look, it's man. a lot of shit. shit. It's like a guy shagging a horse. <laughs> yeah, I or swear. somebody getting fucking shot. I changed my number, I changed my number I twice know. because it make your phone go slow. It's so annoying, isn't I it? I know. Fucking... T- or and then you, or it's like something you get a video where you think it's like somebody's bird's tits going to well, come well, and that, then it turns around and it's somebody getting horse off off a dog yeah. or something like that. But one guy send up a... Sh- I do a shit, man. Aye! Everybody like fucking... So who's sending all that? Stefan Mahi. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Just, you just see everybody, you know. It's funny. I swear it's just funny. Right. You know, see that group shout is a nightmare. It's a pain in the yeah. ass. I'm you all of them. I'm I know. fucking fed up with good I know. Chats. They send it. Better have two, na- two phones. Right. One just for that because it. Um, Who's the worst on the group chat? Oh, the. No, everybody good because they're like each other. Uh, send the picture and then, you know what I mean? Just funny. Is Jim Jeffries on it? No, Jim, no, big Jim, no. no. Have you ever been to Jim's house for dinner? No, 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 no. no did no, you ever do that? No, no, no. no, no. no. Was he quite crabbit? No, Jim. He's, no, he's very no. good fun. Yeah, he's good, fun. good man. Yeah. What about Billy Brown? Was he scary? Different class. The two Billy with Jim is just different class and good man. You know, I have a good time for him. You All know, right. because they signed me for Kumonic as well. Ah, you know, so they, they yeah, they're very good, good man. I love them. Is it Katongo? Um, I could sit here and talk. I know, I love it. It's I been to God, so good. This has been my favorite interview. Oh, thank you, man. I it's good to, God, to have it here, man. I love because you're honest and it's a yeah, lot of and you're so upfront and honest with your opinions and your thank thoughts and your stories. Um, I would like to go on a night out with you and Grado uh, in Hamilton. No, no, should we do, go for a bite to eat and a wee drink? No problem, anytime. Oh, look, before I go, before I go, Yun, I forgot to tell you that. When I play in the island, I meet this girl Sunday night, mm-hmm. you know? Aye. And the girl said to, to me, Jose, I went to her house, blah, blah, blah. The girl says to me, Jose, he had spare keys. I'm going to go to work early. And then you close the door and put the keys in the letterbox. I say, okay. She boom to work. You know, I went to do a shit. No toilet paper, no water. I'm like, <laughs> I say, oh, fuck. I went in the freezer, nothing. I say, holy fuck. I went to Cobalt, I got a three Asda bag, roll the shit. In the Asda bag, from the it, toilet? It, yeah, what, I'm not going to leave the shit in the last house. You know, I rolled the tent, I dress, I tie my lace, close the door, put the keys, I left the shit in the door. <laughs> <laughs> she come over from the work, I swear to God, Grido. She come over, to, because she always wear high heels. Come over, step in the shit, the shit all over the house. <laughs> After one month, I get a letter from the court. The court? Yes. Mrs. Jose Kitongo, you swear you left shit in the Mrs. Blah, blah, blah house. I say, I do. Two, two days in the jail. <gasps> swear, we put him in a weak car, in the car. People think I'm a fucking big danger, man. Like, you know, I went in the jail in the court. I asked the guy, why are you here? Oh, I killed my neighbor's dog. You all oh, do that. And the, the one the guy said, you women, where are you here? I say, I left shit in somebody's house. And the place went steady to my... <laughs> You were in jail for two years. You get put in jail for putting a shit. Two years, man. Uh, two days, man. In jail. And basically, oh, you could have just left it in the pan. I know. For, this is it, you. And, 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 you, and you, you got criminal records. My, my, my lawyer said, "Why you just not leave his shit in the place?" Wait, did you know? No, I just pick, you know I grab in the plastic bag, but you know. Oh, and then she stood on that and boom. Yeah, boom. Fuck. Shit all over the place. Uh, you know. See, that's what happens when you be too nice. I know. You know what I mean, it exactly. comes. It comes about to bite you in the ass. <laughs> I cannot believe you've I been know. in the jail for that. I know. Two that days. is one of the most fucked up stories I've ever heard in my life. Sweat to je- me put him in that car, man. Fucking. Like, yeah. Aye. Bad man here. Mugshot on that. Yeah. Mugshot on that. <laughs> with a bag of shit beside you. I know. You. Fucking hell, <laughs> man. Well, you need to write a book about it. I know. I'm going to do that. You, you should know, write Jose's stories. <laughs> Aye. It's fucking crazy, man. And that's good. Jose Katongo, you have oh. been an absolute star. Round of applause Jose, for Jose. Jose, you need to come back on. That, that was brilliant. Jose Katongo. Jose Katongo. Jose Katongo. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>that's just about it for the football daft podcast with you and Grado episode 10 what a show our thanks to Simon Weir great actor great mystery guest also Jose Katongo I've been looking for it 
You, what? Really? That's it. Sorry, you, sorry. Jose Katongo, how good was he? Jose Katongo was my official best interview person I think we've had. Really? Because, just because that's what I want to do me on this podcast. I, I like speaking to Hately and Simon uh, Donnelly, Simon Donnelly the, the old firm players, but really to hear guys that have no been in the old firm, I love hearing their stories. Jose's a great guy. Do you think he was, he think he was the most relaxed guest we've ever had in regards to his stories and the way that he spoke? He didn't give a hell, eh? He didn't give a fuck, did he? He didn't give a cat's cock. No. <laughs> <laughs> so our thanks to Jose Katonga, who has promised to take us on a night out in Hamilton. Oh, we tripped to Hamilton Palace, so we bite in a couple of drinks. Mm. So thank you, Jose, for coming in. Again, thank you to our, um, our mystery guest as well, who was uh, Simon Weir. He was a great guest. And um, before we go, Grado. Yes, bro. Football season starts this weekend. Mm-hmm. Your team are playing away to Kilmarnock. Kilmarnock on Sunday, innit? Aye, Hearts are at home to Ross County. Come on, oh. the Jambos. We'll beat them. It's not a problem. We'll yeah. get off to a good start. Even with Craig Levine in charge, we can't <laughs> fuck that one up, surely. Um, but there is a Scottish fantasy football game out there. You can download the app right now. So get involved. It's a Scottish fantasy football app. And uh, we're creating the Football Daft League. And we'd love for you to get involved. You need to get your team involved and picked. Uh, before the weekend, you need to pick um, 11 players and four substitutes. I've done my team. You done your team yet, Grado? No, I've not had a look at it, no. Johnny, I'm not going to give you my full team because if I do that, then some people might copy me. No, just let me, give me, give me a way and I'll do it for next week. There's, there's my Scottish uh, fantasy football team. Right. Have a look at that, Tim, what you think. Don't shout too because people will copy me. I'm not going to. Um, so how, how many million do you get to spend? 65. 65. So that, that's what you've got left. You've got 0. 0.10. Yes. So basically you've spent... I've spent, I've spent it all in that all team. Right. What do you think of my first 11? I, I think you, you, you what's happening with there is some of these players could be away by the end of the, the window. Mm. Or at least even in, in January. I can you know change I mean? it up if that happens. I can, oh. I, I can transfer them out and sell them. Oh, so you can change it each yeah, week? Yeah, you can change it each week, aye. All oh, right, no, because I'm thinking... What do you think of my starting 11, though? Just tell me what you think of my starting 11. It's fucking good, aye. Aye, it's, it's good. good. It's, good. Good. it's, it's strong. It's strong, I'm just, it? But there's... One, two, three, four... There's... F- oh, my God! I can't believe who you've got left back. You are a kiss-ass bastard. You are a kiss-ass bastard. Who's in my left bastard. back? Fucking Amy McDonald's husband, Ricky Foster. <laughs> you are a kisser. Uh, so get yourself involved in the Scottish Fantasy Football app. Get it downloaded and join the Football Daft League. All the details will be on our Facebook page, our Twitter page. It'll be on YouTube. Um, and just uh, get yourself involved in that. And at the end of the league campaign, whoever's finished top league will win a magnificent prize. Yes. We're not giving away just yet, but it's a great prize. Brilliant. Uh, anything else you want to add, Grado, before we say cheerio? Uh, not just everybody enjoy your weekend um, stay safe out there the fit is back fit boy's back yeah. Credo get the coupon zone get all that back gamble the responsibility zone. yes all that right. uh, Credo you've been daft you've been football it's yourself remember that <laughs>